Hey guys, what's going on? Cody Sperber, The Clever Investor, back again. And in today's training video, we're gonna be going over something super cool that I think is gonna help make you a lot of freaking money, which is the way we dispo properties. Now, I'm not alone. I have our disposition manager, what? Matt, with us. We also have super student, Brandon. <laughs> All right, and Kat's behind the, the camera, right? So you can't see her, but she's back there. It's Matt's girlfriend. Also our um, transaction coordinator and accountant. And pretty much the glue that holds, holds the thing. I gotta, I gotta show you now. I'm sorry. Gosh. I'm sorry. Hi. There you go. All right, all, right, all, right. all right. So the whole team's here, and uh, you know we're definitely not practicing social distancing. So you're gonna stay over there. All right. I'm gonna stay over here. And we're gonna go through our dispositions process and talk to you about something we call the property launch formula. So if you want to know how to dispo more properties and make more money, this is gonna be the video for you. All right, guys, so we're gonna be going over the entire backside of a wholesale transaction, which is the disposition side. And so, Matt, you're in the trenches every single day. Mm -hmm. You're working with cash buyers. Walk us through kind of what your dispo main philosophy is, and then let's go through the property launch formula. And do you think we could do this in like 10 minutes? I, I think so, let's do, let's do it. So we're always gonna build our cash buyers list. And you've got multiple types of cash buyers. You've got cash buyers that are gonna do fix and flip. You've got cash buyers that are going to do long-term hold rentals. And then you can get into multifamily and you know that sort of thing. Do your best to segregate those. You wanna go deeper. You wanna know what your buyers want. So when I get a property and Cody calls me and says, Matt, I want that property. I just saw you listed it. One, two, three, East Main Street. I want that. Okay, Cody, this is the deal. Cody says, cool, I want it. It's sold. Awesome, Cody, I appreciate it. What else do you want? What else are you looking for? Are you looking for manufactured homes? Are you looking for commercial? Are you looking for com uh, multifamily? Like, what else can I get you? Yeah, what's your price range? What are your zip codes? Mm -hmm. Do you need funding? Do you not need funding? How, how are you gonna pay for it? And I've gone in some other videos. Um, you can go back and look at some of my older videos on building a cash buyers list and the importance of buyer boxes, because I feel like the more you got to know the cash buyers, the more you got out of the office and went and met them at the rehabs and built a relationship with them, you were able to start to categorize like regular buyers that like buy maybe one or two properties a year versus super buyers that buy a lot of properties. And you know, they're gonna buy from you or they're gonna buy from one of your competitors. Yeah, that pisses me off. It sucks, right? <laughs> when you're like, oh, I totally, you know, I've been talking to this person, I didn't follow up for two months and then I finally followed up and all of a sudden they bought somewhere else. And, that's and when you send out a property, you're gonna have wholesalers calling you because they're gonna wanna sell your deal to somebody else. You're gonna have realtors calling you. So when you ask these questions, you're looking to make sure, one, are they even a legitimate buyer or are they representing a buyer? Yeah, and I have, Vitally important. I have something right here. I'm just gonna give you guys for you watching this because we glazed over it. But building a cash buyers list, I've done tons of videos on building a cash buyers list. I wanna give you something for free. It's uh, 17 cash buyer hacks. It's a step-by-step -step guide. It's gonna show you how to get out there and build a cash buyers list. You can see it's very easy to follow. I'll put a link in the pinned comment section down below and also in the description. So download this and do this, right? Because you're doing this every single day. If you build a cash buyers list, and it doesn't have to be big. That's a cool thing about a buyers list. Like we have maybe 350 people that have been separated out of our 30,000 buyers that are like really active buyers. We have a re really good relationship with them. We built buyer boxes on them. We know what they want. And what's cool about buyer boxes is now you can reverse wholesale, mm -hmm. which is what? So reverse wholesaling is, um, so we're gonna have another wholesaler that we're on their email list, we're on their text blast list. Somehow we're gonna see their properties. But we have a buyer over here that says, hey, I want a three bed, two bath, and eight five, two five four, with a pool, single story. In this price range. In this, and for $320,000 with an ARV of uh, 450, you know, somewhere with that. Cody sends me an email and I'm like, ding. Dude, I just got this property. Hey John, I just got this property. Um, came across my desk. Came across my right. desk. Um, you know, I wanted to send it to you first because we've already done business together. And Cody, when I got the property, don't tell your buyer this, Cody sent me the deal at, at you know, 310. I say, John, I got it right at your price point at 320. He's like, awesome, can we go take a look at it? So now I scramble and I'm like, Cody, 
you got a buyer, I'm gonna go look at this property with him. He's gonna close one of my best buyers and you're gonna sell the wholesaler that your buyer is legit. And so you're gonna go to the property, you're gonna show him around, you're gonna get the signed contract. Um, you're gonna get the contract with Cody, you're gonna send it to escrow, it's a done deal, you just make 10 grand. Or just playing matchmaker. Playing matchmaker. And you're just backwards engineering the entire deal. And what I love about call wholesaling is when you really get good at it, and you have a lot of relationships with other wholesalers in town, which is why we're always building and networking and building relationships, is uh, you don't always have to mark it up. Mm -hmm. A lot of times now, since we source a lot of our own deals, we have wholesalers that have very strong buyers lists that will sell our deals and we'll all put it out at the same price. Mm -hmm. So now the buyers aren't getting pissed off, everybody's winning, and uh, we're, that we have their, their wholesale fee built into it. Or a realtor. Right, you want to take care of your local real estate agent, so we always kind of build in a little realtor fee for the real estate agent, so they're not feeling like they have to always mark it up. But anyway, all right, Absolutely. let's get to why we're here in this video, the property launch formula. Walk me through your entire timeline from the time we get a property under contract to the time that we actually go cha-ching and get paid. What's the property launch formula? Cool, so the first thing you're always, always gonna do, if you're gonna lock up a property, your acquisition team's gonna lock up a property, always take pictures when you're negotiating with the seller. When you go and walk the property, you don't want to go back to get pictures because you forgot. So always take pictures and always put them on a Dropbox. Because, and, and video. And video. Yeah. Because pictures can only be sent at two megabytes per uh, email. It can, it's like less for, for text. It's terrible. So you want to send it Always get Dropbox in because your buyer's always going to ask for a Dropbox. You just, you actually just mentioned something that they need to understand is when you're trying to send out a mass email blast using like MailChimp or Constant Contact or any email provider, you don't want tons of pictures clogging up your email or you're going to go into spam and your emails are never going to get delivered. So the workaround is putting in Dropbox and now you just send a single link and boom, they, uh, they get all the information they need. And here's the thing about pictures. Nothing pisses me off more than when somebody sends me pictures of a property and it's like all the rosy, awesome stuff. Real buyers, like I'm a developer or and I, we rehab tons of houses. If I show up and that foundation's cracked and you, did, you forgot to tell me about the power lines and you forgot this and forgot that, now I'm pissed off because I'm like, you just wasted my time. All you did was show me all the best parts of the property. I want to know everything, including pictures of the AC, pictures of the um, water heater and the foundation and all the good stuff. So, yeah, absolutely. all right. What, so that's step one. Step oh. one. Immediately. If you're going to do that, you're going to throw it on your website. So what you're doing right now is you're getting it prepared to send it out, right? Whether that's our next step, which is calling your VIP VIPs. So when we, when we're building our cash buyers list, and we're going deep with our buy boxes, with our buyers, we've got our VIP VIPs. These are guys, they've bought properties from us. We know what they want. We know they're gonna close. Like, we've talked to them. Maybe we've gone to dinner with them. We've gone and we've seen the rehabs. You know, we've done some business together and we're like, hey, this is what I got. And you're gonna send them a link to either your website or the Dropbox link with a little description. Yeah, and it, it's call or text or however you wanna get, get, get a hold of them. Our website, just if you want to see an example of a disposition website and look at our disclosures and look at the language and the way we sell our properties is nationalpropertysuperstore.com. So if you go to nationalpropertysuperstore.com, you'll see our inventory. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing, our inventory is constantly changing and you don't, we have a lot of properties on there because we're, we're, we're one of the larger disposition websites in the country. However, it's constantly being flushed out. So you really don't want to have, and don't think that you have to have a ton of properties on your website. You can have one property on your website. What that says to me is that as soon as you get deals, you sell them, mm -hmm. right? So don't, don't worry about looking bad if you don't have a ton of properties. And if you, if you need to start off, get some other wholesalers properties, put it on your website. So at least you have some inventory and just mark it as sold, 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 sold. And then when you get a deal, put it on your, on your website. All right, so now we're gonna call our VIPs. These are people that rose to the top of the list. They're gonna get that special treatment before you mass blast it out. So that's the next step. Yep, and we've got text and email. Guys, there's many chat. There's, I mean, if you wanna make a, a Facebook Live video, if you wanna go, if you wanna make a TikTok video for your properties, like whatever you wanna do, and you just wanna get it out there and just text and email blast because you spent time getting phone numbers, getting emails and you just want to send that out to the world, um, that, this is the time to do it. 
Yeah, and the thing with um, texting and email, so we have an in-house system that we actually built for our text blast, um, uh, same for email. The thing right here is you want your text to be simple and clean. And I'm gonna put up an example of one of our texts up on the screen right now. So you can just see, like, it's not a ton of information, but it's very clear. There's a headline, there's some basic description of what the, what the offer is. And then there's a, a picture of the property, and then there's a link to the, either the Dropbox or a phone number to be able to call. And when you create a Dropbox link, those Dropbox links are extraordinarily long. So we use Bitly links. So you'll just upload your Dropbox link into Bitly, paste that Bitly link, I think it's like 10 or 12 characters, fits perfectly in a text and reduces all the characters. Yep. Um, you know, just saves space. Yeah, and you, you definitely want to use a link shortener, otherwise you're not you're going to use up all of your uh, text characters. So Dropbox website VIP VIPs text email blast. Now now your entire buyer's list has it. Now it's time to post online, and you mentioned that a little bit. Posting on Craigslist, posting on Facebook Marketplace, inside Facebook groups. Mm -hmm. You know, Absolutely. what are there any other you know do posting on social, going live on social, doing a YouTube video. Hey, what's going on guys? Cody Sperber here. I'm out here at 555 Main Street. This is a, a you know, a, an extremely discounted property. It actually came out of foreclosure. We locked this thing up. You're gonna get a smoking deal. Let's go through a tour. If you want more properties like this, give me a holler. And it's just, you're pitching constantly. And he's always out there on social, going live, pitching the deal. All right, so now I wanna, I wanna share. So post on social. Now I wanna share with you a super cool hack that I discovered years and years ago. It's called a pending listing hack. So pay attention, this is really cool. So right now, here in Maricopa, there's seven million you know, people that live in all of the entire valley. So there's always rehab activity going on. Now, if you go on your MLS, I'm sure in your local market, unless you live in a really small town, there are rehabbers that are rehabbing properties. They're listing on, uh, them on the MLS once they're fully rehabbed and buyers are showing up and they're, they're making offers. And when those properties go pending, I have an alert set up on the MLS to notify me because I immediately call the real estate agents and say, hey, you know, John, congratulations on, I see that your listing just went pending. It looks amazing. The rehab turned out good. Um, let me ask you something. I actually came across and, and locked up some really good discounted properties right down the street or in the area. Do you have a property that you're gonna roll your buyer in to once it closes? And I can't tell you how many times agents are like, thank you for doing my job for me. I don't even have to think about it. It's off market, it's discounted, I get a commission. You could do this with pending listings. You could do this when they just list the listings. It doesn't have to wait until it's pending. It could be uh, just an active listing or it could be a recently sold. I like pending because I found that the second it goes pending, the cash buyer is willing to go into contract on something else. Mm -hmm. uh, but be playful with it. Absolutely. All right, what's next? So you can throw out direct mail. Um, Deal Automator is a fantastic tool for direct mail. You can pull lists. And right inside the software, you can just go boop, boop, boop. And yeah. cash buyers just have. It's so easy. It's literally like four click, clicks. Click, click, take and Cody's credit card and throw it in there. And it's just, <laughs> they have everything. It's easy for you. <laughs> um, you know, with direct mail, why we, why we wait is because, you know, you got to spend money for direct mail. And if it's, you know, 30 or 35 cents a mailer for a postcard, you don't want to just go, you know, spending tons of direct mail, especially if you sell it the second you make one quick phone call to a VIP VIP. But by this point in the process, we pull a radius of all the cash buying transactions within the last 90 days or less in the vicinity of the subject property that we're trying to sell. We pull that cash buyer's list and inside the deal automator, I literally just pick, pull the list, pick the postcard, click, you know, put in my personal information and click send. All right, and then a few days later, those get mailed out, and then all of a sudden we start getting all these calls from cash buyers like, all right, tell me about the deal, what do you got, what do you got? And even if they're not uh, interested in that particular deal, a lot of times we can add them to our cash buyers list. Now, bandit signs. Uh, believe it or not, bandit signs sell properties. They work great. They work great. They're a pain in the ass, but they work great. If you don't know what a bandit sign is, it's that little plastic roadside sign that's, uh, I post them around the property, and I, base, I don't put the address of the property, I basically just say something like, um, investor special, cash only, in area with my phone number. Mm -hmm. And I find that white signs with 
red lettering or blue lettering really work well. And if you are in an area with snow, do yellow signs with black lettering. Like red, right? Red. So for some reason, white and red, it, it really stands out, right? All right. Talk to us about JV Cobalt. Jay, using cobalt if this is towards the end of the transaction. Yep. You have not found a buyer yet. Now it's time to bring in some extra fire. Yeah, you're, bring, you're bringing in the army now. So typically in every single market, you're not the only wholesaler. There's going to be 5, 10, 15, 100 different wholesalers. And, you know, it's pretty easy. Just If you don't know of any, just say, look up Phoenix AZ, we buy houses cash. That's probably going to be either a cash buyer or a wholesaler. Um, if they're, they are a cash buyer, they probably wholesale as well. You say, hey, um, I've got a property, I need some help selling it, do you want a JV on this thing? I've got five grand, 10 grand, we'll go 50, 50, 60, 40, you know, negotiate the terms. Um, you use your text and email platform, send it out for me and, and we'll split the deal. Nine times out of 10, if you can't sell it with all this, they have their own buyers they're, list. They're gonna rock it out. Any, you know, we might only have 300 or 200 people on our buyers list and they might have a thousand or 2000 or they might have 300, but they have buyers that we don't have on our list. And so it's really important to build these relationships with other local wholesalers. And here's what I really like to do that makes it super easy to find other wholesalers in town. Go to Craigslist, right? Go to Craigslist and uh, just go into the um, homes for sale section and go into the search bar and put in search terms that only wholesalers use. So what's a search term only a wholesaler will use? Investor special. All right, what, what's another one? Distressed home, uh, yep. cheap home, yep. off market. Off what about as is? Owner. ARV. Like these are things like no normal person uses after repair value or any of that stuff, but a wholesaler uses it all the time in their marketing. And so I'll just, it'll pull up all the, the listings and you just start calling one and you'll find like, one or two or 10 people dominate kind of the Craigslist listings and you'll be able to get good wholesale connections from that. All right, if all that doesn't work, price drop. We're gonna price drop that thing. We're gonna price drop that thing. And let's say we have it under contract for 100,000 and we price dropped it all the way to 100,000 and they're still not selling, we're gonna price drop it to 95, then to 90. We're gonna do anything we can to just keep that marketing going. We'll re-blast it out, repost it on social, just whatever we gotta do until the buyers come. Once the buyers come, then we know one of a couple things has to happen. Like finally somebody showed up and offered us 92 or 95. That just means we gotta go back to the seller and renegotiate. Mm -hmm. It means that we overpriced the prior, uh, over uh, contracted the property and we got some work to do. And worst case scenario, we price drop it and we use it as bait. Mm -hmm. We go fishing, right, for more cash buyers. Drop it to 80,000, put it back out there. You get all these cash buyers coming out of the woodworks. Hey, sorry, that one's sold. I'll get you on the next one. Give me your information, fill out a buyer's box, add them to the list, bada boom, bada bang. All right, and then through all this, we find nine times out of 10, you end up selling the property and you're good to go. You gotta get paid. And, and it's this simple formula that we rinse and repeat over and over and over on all of our properties. That's why it's so important to have kind of a, a launch formula so that way we can, not, we don't have one property. We have 30 properties and we're doing this on a daily basis. All right, cool. So if you're still watching this, we want your help. We're actually bringing on some team members like Brandon here who's learning. Imagine if you were sitting here next to Brandon and in this imaginary chair, and you were joining our team. We're trying to scale our dispositions department. Matt is a great dispo manager, but he needs people to manage, and we wanna sell and make a lot more money, and right now, the market is on fire, the world is on sale, there's a massive amount of distressed real estate coming, and people defaulting on their properties, and we are opening up all kinds of uh, virtual markets, plus we're trying to dominate here in Arizona. So what are, we, what, are we, what are we looking for? If you're watching this and this resonates with you, if you want to become part of a team, you wanna join our dispositions department, we're looking for interns right now, and if you, you know, are an awesome intern, then it becomes a fully paid position. But what is it? What are we looking for? You, you've gotta be hungry. The number one thing I need is I need somebody that needs to do deals. It's not, oh, I wanna go do some wholesale deals and feel it out. It's like, this, it's do or die. Like, we're gonna go do deals or we're like not gonna do anything. Like, we're gonna get deals done all the time, every day, posting 
everywhere doing whatever it takes to sell a deal. So in that you've got to be mo motivated. Um, if you've got, you know, financial stresses, this is an internship. So we, we definitely want to reduce that financial stress. Yeah, we don't want somebody who's so broke and so freaked out that they're like, if I don't get paid within, you know, five days, I'm going to be homeless. Like, that's not the type of yeah, mentality we want. We want you hungry and motivated and ambitious, but not under a massive mountain of debt. One of the reasons we like Brandon is he's from the military. Right. He's, he's got that. Show us those military guns. He's got some these little guys. Oh, those little, <laughs> those little monsters? Every video, I make you flex. <laughs> yeah. uh, military and sports, why? Competitive. We're, we're, we're not here to play the game. We're not, we're not here to um, mess around. We're here to win. Uh, we're here to dominate. We're here to make a ton of money. We're here to make a lot of money. And, and uh, I found that just when you're coachable, it just fits. We're a yeah. team, and uh, we're looking for other people that fit into yeah. the team. That that they don't have ego. They they know they're awesome, but they don't have this crazy ego where they can't be coachable. All right, you you get what we're saying here. Listen, if you want to join our team, you want to get plugged into something that's already working, already dominating. We're taking on five to seven interns right now. If that's you and you want to apply, where do they gotta go? Just. Shoot me an email. It's interns at greenelephantdevelopment.com. All right, there you go. Interns at greenelephantdevelopment.com. If this fits your personality, you want to get plugged into something bigger than yourselves, make a lot of money, and do what Brandon's doing, that's your shot. Living the dream. Living the dream, baby. All right, this video is much longer than 10 minutes. I, no matter how hard I try, guys, I cannot get this down to like 10 to 13 minutes. So it's probably like 25 minutes, but hopefully you learned something from it. Till next time, I am Cody Sperber, the Clever Investor, here with Matt Beans and, and Brandon. Boom. Oh. Signing off for now. <laughs> Till next time, take care, comb your hair, and we're out.